we're here today with David Tom, who played Billy Abbott on The Young and the Restless, and also Paul Kramer on One Life to Live, and crossover to All My Children. So Good for time. your soap fans, you soap fans, you recognize him from that. <laughs> Why don't you talk a little bit about your um, desire to become an actor and what you did prior to that? Because you model, correct? Well, yeah, my mom actually got us into acting when I was like six years old, like maybe five. And we started doing a lot of print work, um, and then we did some catwalking for Marshall Fields uh, back in Chicago, actually, um, which I hated catwalking. But they always gave us a big bag of toys at the very end, so I was always like, "I made it work." All right, let's do this. Yeah, but uh, then slowly but surely we got into commercials. Um, I did my first McDonald's commercial. I think it was when I was. Uh, Seven, something like that. Was it one of those they eat and spit out? Oh no, it, well, uh, we didn't have to eat anything actually. It was uh, for like the toys and the Happy Meal, you know, the uh -huh. whole cars that you'd wind up and let go and spin around and stuff like that. I remember those. Yeah. Um, and slowly but surely got into television and uh, film and, and daytime. So yeah. So you started on Young and the Restless and stayed there for a decent amount of time? Yeah, I was there for about three and a half years. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. And what was it like working on the Young and the Restless? It was great. I loved it. Um, it was so much fun. Especially as, you know, a young kid, um, you know, and, and just being in that environment and being able to work with my sister, even though we didn't do any scenes together. But, yeah, uh, I was going to say, yeah. should be noted that his sisters are Heather and Nicole Tom. Yeah. Both. Uh, yeah. Actresses. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They didn't put us in any scenes together because we do look a lot alike when you know you put us side by yeah, side. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I I understand that. But um, she actually knew everybody from uh, you know years of being on the show before I was. So I, I was kind of I kind of felt like I was already part of the family because I'd been there so much. You know, watching her work and stuff. And then when I actually joined the show, I, I pretty much knew everyone already. You know, and. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I mean, working with Jess Walt and Gene Cooper, and, and you know, it was amazing. You know. And what did you do after you left there? Uh, well, I went back to uh, auditioning, and uh, you know, I did some films here and there, and uh, um, some other stuff, some uh, episodic TV shows, and then I moved to One Life. You know? Where you played your sisters. There, I actually did half get to do brother, some right? My sister. Yeah, yeah, um, and uh, steal some baby or a baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So uh, that was kind of fun. Well, at least you got it out on screen. You didn't have to steal any babies for yeah, her. Yeah, exactly. Really. <laughs> yeah, this was her fake baby instead of the real one that she uses on Bolton Beautiful. Right. So after um, One Life to Live and the All My Children crossover, what were you looking to pursue? Uh, really, I mean, I'm just, I love working. You know, anything I can get my hands on, film, theater, uh, you know, television, whatever it is. You know, I really just love to work. Um, you know, especially with that, you know, I had Eric call me up and, uh... Yeah, yeah, it was my just, segue you know, into that. You, yeah. You're here on the East Coast to film yeah, a movie. You know, I mean, I'm empty. really glad that worked out, because, I mean, I was going to come here anyway, and he was like, well, we have this small part for you. Um, would you mind, would you be interested in doing it? Mm -hmm. I was like, sure, absolutely. You know, any chance to play a drug dealer? I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> not to yeah. typecast myself. Yeah, you know, uh, not to typecast, absolutely. But, uh... I just love being on set, yeah. and any kind of work that I can, I can get, you know, I'm, I'm all for. It was a good yeah. night, but a long night. It was a very long night, yeah. yes, but it was fun. I had a great time, you know. And I'm, I'm, th that's my favorite time to work anyway, is, is overnight. on night location shoots. Those are my favorite, that's my favorite, you know. There's just something about it. You know, I'm a night person anyway, mm -hmm. so I really like it. Now while you've been in here in New York, besides the movie, you've been, you know, auditioning and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Is there something that you really want to focus on? You said movie and TV, but is there a certain genre that you're looking to do? Um, I mean, not really. I mean, anything that, you know, my agent or manager would think uh, I'm right for, you know? Uh, I, I really like the drama, you know, aspect. Um, if I had my choice, I would do something dramatic, you know, uh, uh, you know drama series or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just here to meet everybody, you know, I, I don't really know the casting directors and the, and the people out here, uh, so I've been taking a lot of meetings with them and, oh, and just uh, introducing myself, you know. I mean, in LA, I've been there for so long, everybody knows me there, and, and 
I mean, here it's uh, just a new face and, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Vibe-wise, what's the, the differences that you feel oh, are in wow. New York and L.A.? It's a huge, huge difference. Um, uh, well, I <laughs> don't know who's going to be watching this. So I have to it's watch for my adults. views and cues. <laughs> um, no, but New York is just, it, it's a lot faster. Um, but I also think that New York is more... Um, they're more uh, uh, talented or you know talent oriented. Um, you know, in, in LA, it's very business. It's very you know cut and dry. It's you know it's all about the bottom dollar. But here, I think it's you know you can actually do work here, whether it be you know small theater or, or uh, things like that. Uh, and they really really appreciate the actor um, here a lot. I mean, not not that they don't in LA, but here it just seems a little bit more um, you know. A, since it's all theater oriented here mostly, that it's just all about, you know, looking at the actor and seeing who's, you know, who's talented and, and, and things like that and really focusing on that. What do you think competition wise? Is it the same level of competition oh, in yeah. terms of yeah. having each other's backs or is it super competitive? Well, it's More very, very competitive. Um, and bottom line is, is that whenever you're auditioning for something that's you know major, like a, a pilot or, or something like that, you're you're comp you're competing against people in LA as well. You know, they have cast directors out there that are doing you know the same thing, um, and vice versa. You know, not only that, but you, you know they'll they may audition in London, Chicago, Dallas. You know, uh, for major roles, they audition everywhere. So you're going back to California for the holiday season, right? For the holidays, and then I'm coming back in February. Cool. Um, maybe, maybe like the middle of January, depending on. Uh, Check the weather. I was going to say on those dates. It's going to be wanna... cold. <laughs> yeah. Or snowy. Yeah. I have a little trip coming up in uh, Ireland uh, for about a week That's in nice. February uh, with some of my buddies. Cool. Um, yeah, it's going to be fun. What advice would you give to people who are just starting out in the industry? Since Don't. you started out, <laughs> start out in another yeah, industry. Uh, start out in another industry. Because um, <laughs> you've been around from print to going on television to. This is an industry where you cannot do it half-ass. You, you have to. It's either 110 percent or nothing at all. Um, because there's always somebody out there that wants it more than you. And so you have to be, have to be prepared every time you walk into a uh, casting director. Um, in, you, you have to stay dedicated and persistence and patience uh, because you know you have to be somebody that, that uh, is willing to take criticism, that's willing to listen to it and apply it to uh, you know your work. You know, I mean, if it's constructive criticism, right. obviously, but uh, I mean, there's nothing you can do if, you know, they're looking for a dark-haired guy instead of a blonde-haired guy, or, you know, but uh, you will, you will have to be able to take criticism very, very well um, and learn from it, you know, get into class, do uh, community theater, um, anything you can do to get your hands on any kind of, you know, training. Um, and uh, mostly it's about patience because this takes a long time and, and persistence and you have to be on your game 24-7. Without giving away a certain project, and feel free to not answer this, but was there ever a time that you didn't feel you gave your all and you did not land the part and you feel that that was the reason? Well, uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I couldn't say a specific time, right. um, you know, but uh, Everybody has their bad, you know, bad days. You know, everybody, you know, you're gonna walk into an audition and have a, a bad read. It happens. Mm -hmm. You know, unfortunately, nowadays, uh, with the way the industry is changing, you have to minimize or minimize those as, as much as possible. Um, because I mean, you could go into a uh, casting director's office, and if you bomb it, you may not see that casting director for a couple of years yeah. afterwards. So. Yes, you have to be, like I said, on top of your game uh, as much as you possibly can be. Um, and yeah, I mean, every actor has a bad moment, has a you know, has a flub or, or whatnot, or where they walk out of the office. And I've felt that many times, walking out of a, a casting office, being like, ah, you know, I, I could have done that better. I could have done this better. I messed this up. You know, I like, oh, I just tanked it. You know, it happens. You and know? now is that? 
coming from your own internal thinking that you did it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes. And it I've, could have been the casting director loved you. Absolutely. Just, you know, yeah. I've, I've booked jobs where I've walked out of the office and been like, I was awful. You know, that was terrible. And then the next day I end up booking it. You know, sometimes that happens a lot. Yeah. You know, and then there's other times where you walk out and you're like, that was completely, I nailed it, you know, 100%, and you never hear from them again. You know, it's all, it's all thrown a dart, you know, and Absolutely. like, and, uh, you know, you have to, like I said, just be on top of it every, every minute of the day. And don't give up until you're really don't ready give to up. call it in. Have a, have a hobby, something that you can do to take your mind off of this, because you can't sit around waiting for the phone to ring, because um, it'll never ring. Uh, if, if you do that, have something else to take, you know, like, use your craft and your, your art of acting in other aspects, whether it be music or, or you know, uh, actual art, you know, uh, painting and things like that. Um, you, you have to be able to, to get away from it every once in a while because it can be very frustrating um, sometimes. Um, but it also can be very rewarding, you know. And, and it, I, it's for the most of the people that, that want to come into this business because they love acting. They love, you know, what they do. They love to, to get on stage and, and play a character. It's not for the people that want to get into this industry for the fame right. and the money, you know, because. That's few and yeah. far between. Yeah, it's very few and far between, and odds are, you know, uh, it's that's a tough, tough challenge. Yeah. You know, you just have to take it a day at a time. You know, get in class. Uh, you know, and uh, as many classes as you can, do community theater, uh, and just keep working at it. Yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. David, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. I greatly appreciate it, and. Look forward to hearing what's next for you. Thank you, man. Me too. Thank you very much.